Miranda Simonick here, therapist, social worker. This video is about resilience. What is resilience? It is the ability to bounce back. And guess what? Every single one of you watching this video has resilience. How do I know that? There's no way you'd still be here. There's no way you'd be watching this video. You have come so far in life. You have overcome odds, right? Think back to a time you were really stressed or scared. Think about that. Did you make it through it? You did, because you're still here. What tools did you use? How did you cope? And if you're like, not well, then you simply have to add some tools to your toolbox. Our brain is malleable, which means you can teach it for the rest of his life. So what do you feel like you need to learn? Deep breathing, meditation, yoga, positive affirmations, releasing energy. There are so many coping tools out there. You just have to harness them. You have to decide what works for me and then use it. And you can do that right now. Have you been feeling scared? Have you been feeling anxious? What do you do when you feel those ways? Do you push it away? Do you feel it? Do you respond unhealthy? Or do you use the coping skills, the tools that you may have? What are they? I don't know. Everybody's unique. Everybody's different. But if you feel like you're really struggling, maybe you're not using the tools that you already have. You have made it through life. You have made it this far. You have skills. Just be more aware of them. Be more active. Find what works for you. For instance, right now, I am actively practicing daily morning meditation. And I notice a difference when I forget to do it. It takes 21 days to form a new habit. So yes, it takes work to use your skills. Life is work. But why not work and use things that are healthy instead of unhealthy? So I encourage you to write a list of things that worked for you in the past when you felt stressed and see if you're using them. And if not, actively try them each day. Just take 10 minutes. You totally got this. Every single one of you.